Let's talk about the Medicaid waiver program in Florida. And again, really quickly, Medicaid is more than one thing. Medicaid's an umbrella term for multiple different programs. Prior video, we've talked about the ICP program. That's for people who are in nursing homes. We're now gonna talk about a completely separate program that's commonly referred to as the Medicaid waiver program. Sometimes it's also called home and community-based services because as you may have guessed, it's for people who are not in a nursing home, but still need significant help with their long-term care activities of daily living. Lots of my clients erroneously think that Medicaid is only for people in nursing homes because that's a more popular program. That's a more well-known program. But we're also, I'm very happy to say, able to get our clients qualified for the Medicaid waiver program, which is for people who do not quite need nursing home care just yet. They might be in an assisted living facility, which is a lower level of care for people who are a little bit more independent but need help, or very, very popularly with my clients, people who want to remain in their own home or condo or apartment or at a family member's home, at a child's home, right? They wanna stay at home with family or just in their own home where they live without having to go to any facility whatsoever. And the Medicaid waiver program, if you wanna receive care at home, can pay for home health care, right? Someone to come into your home to help you perform your activities of daily living. You. Luckily, you are also not limited to using a Medicaid-approved home care agency, although some people, many people take advantage of it because maybe their loved ones who are taking care of them need a break from time to time. But if you have a family caregiver, it could be a spouse, it could be a child, it could be a grandchild, a cousin, whoever, uh, or just any individual of your choice, when you're on Medicaid, you're approved for a certain number of home health care hours. Instead of going through an agency, you have the option of having those same hours allocated to anyone you choose. That's through something called the PDO or participant directed option. That is, in order to get the PDO, you must first qualify for the Medicaid waiver program. You're then given the option as to whether or not, if you're at home, you're given the option as to whether you want to go through a home care agency to have someone, a pro, you know, maybe a professional LPN or a a CNA to come in and help you out, or if you have someone who's already doing this work for you, regardless of whether they have a special designation or not, you can choose whoever you want to come in and take care of you and get paid to take care of you as well. So that's the Medicaid waiver program. How you qualify for the Medicaid waiver program is a subject for a different video, which we have, and you can also check out elderneedslaw.com, our website for more information. And what we do is we help people who typically don't naturally qualify for the Medicaid waiver program. We help them legally and ethically protect their assets so they can get access to these benefits. So that's if you're at home. If you're in an assisted living facility, Medicaid will pay a share of the cost of that facility. With an ALF, there's a rent component and then there's the assisted living component. Medicaid does not pay the rent. Medicaid only pays for that higher assisted living level of care. and. That's Medicaid waiver in a nutshell. There's certainly more to it than that than I can fit in this three and a half minute long video. If you want to talk about it further anywhere in the state of Florida, please schedule a consultation. If you found this video useful or if you think there's someone who needs to see it, please share it. Please give it a thumbs up. Helps me get information, good information out to everyone in Florida because that's who we're trying to help. Thanks for watching. Take care.